Hello, welcome back to YouTube.gov. I'm Zach Mayfield, and I realized today that I make a lot of videos alone. I'd like to add some diversity to my channel, so today we're going to activate the diversity dial. <laughs> welcome, Kevin. How are you? Thank you. Feeling diverse as ever. Thank you for adding some depth to this channel. Well, Kevin, since you're here, go ahead and tell the people what we're talking about today. We're going to be covering the Astera <laughs> AX1 Pixel Tubes, and they can do anything. Let's talk about the specs of the AX1 Pixel Tubes. So these tubes are RGBW, red, green, blue. They also have a white diode, which enables you to change color temperature from 2500 to 6,500 Kelvin. They push out 695 lumens, but it's good to note that their maximum brightness occurs at daylight. When you're using the RGB settings, it will be slightly dimmer. What's really awesome about these lights is how soft they are. You can use them for just about any application. The beam angle is 180 degrees, which allows you to shape the light however you want it. The pixel tubes are water resistant, but it's not recommended to submerge them. You could probably like spritz them a little bit. Don't soak them, because they will, they, they will break. Don't break them. They're really tough. They're made out of a strong polycarbonate material with metal end caps with quarter 20 screws on each end so you can mount them in all kinds of different ways. One of the best things about these tubes is how light they are. They only weigh 2.2 pounds and it makes it really easy to mount them anywhere. A huge reason why they're able to be put everywhere is because they're completely wireless. They're battery powered and they can last up to 20 hours on a single charge. You are able to connect AC power to them through the ends right here. So if you do want to hardwire them, you totally can. The brightness of these can be fully controlled. On the lowest setting, they can last 20 hours, and on the brightest setting, they can last two hours. How about an overdone YouTube transition? Now let's talk about some accessories. First up for accessories are these little body clamps. They pop right onto the tubes themselves, and they each have their own quarter 20 mounting points, so they work really well with things like magic arms or clamps. Astera also offers these accessories called eye bolts. The eye bolts can be screwed into the ends of each tube, so you can use fishing line or safety cables. Also, they have accessories called wing plates, which essentially allow you to snap the tubes into this really secure piece of hardware and suspend them using C-stand heads. Astera has also made a really handy dandy tiny remote control so that you can toggle light settings and demo them for quick looks on set. Transition. <laughs> <laughs> so you can use these to demo different colors, but for really precise color dialing or intensity levels, you'll want to use the app. Probably the coolest accessory is Astera's charging case. This thing has a beefy power supply unit in it that plugs into each tube within the case. So you don't have to take the tubes out to charge them. You can leave them right there in the charging case and charge these things with a power supply unit. The way that Astera has laid out the storage for the accessories is super intuitive and really clean so you can keep all your accessories organized and right there in the case. It's also really secure. This thing is beefy and it has a ton of padding so you know that your lights are safe during transport. These lights have been on the market for a while, but people are just tapping into their capabilities. I've personally only had these for a few months and I feel like there's just a whole new world of possibilities. One of the most effective ways we've been able to mount these lights is by using Velcro. If you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you can get Velcro very inexpensive and slap some on the back of the light put the other side wherever you want to mount it, and then you just pop it on there and it holds for hours. Anything is possible! We recently shot a music video where we used all Astera tubes to light the scene. Kevin was able to fully control the lights with the remote for an entire day of shooting. Another great way to use these lights is to set them up as a practical in a scene. So these lights look really good in any way. You can suspend them, you can use the tripod stands, you can even just like set them on the floor. Either way, they look really good in camera. If you have ramen and you want the top lighting on your ramen. Kevin, you're going off course. 
These look awesome. Now we're gonna cover the CRMX Art7 Astera box and the Astera app. This box right here talks to your lights and it also talks to the app. So you can adjust your lights in real time. The Astera app comes standard with a bunch of really cool presets that can get you started immediately right out the box. There are icons for quick color temperature changes and a bunch of different sliding parameters to really build that custom look. The communication range between the box and the lights is unbelievable. Astera claims that you get up to 330 yards of distance, which is like three football fields. When it comes to programming, the Asteras can also be used with all standard DMX programs. The Titan tubes are the exact same size as the AX1s and they only weigh 0.8 pounds more. They're still incredibly light and you'll have absolutely zero problems trying to mount these. We've used these with Velcro so many times and never had an issue. These things are 2.8 times brighter than the AX1 pixel tubes. The output for the Titan tubes at the two hour boost mode is 2,900 lumens. Also, the color rendering index, or CRI, has improved up to 96. Another huge improvement is the hardware. They added a backside display, so you can access controls like saturation and intensity really fast. As far as color temperature, these things are insane. So remember the AX1s that go from 2500 to 6500 Kelvin? The new Titan tubes go from 1750 to 20,000 Kelvin. Why would you even need that? <laughs> one thing we definitely need to talk about is price. Currently in 2019, one AX1 costs 400 USD and one Titan tube costs 800 USD. As a budget filmmaker, it's important to keep our costs down. But one thing we've learned is that you can do so much with just one or two tubes. And something you can do to recoup on your investment is rent out these lights on a platform like ShareGrid. Personally, I like to own my tools so that I can spend a lot of time with them and really get to fully understand how to use them. And the longer amount of time you use and own tools, you start to discover more creative ways to use them. There are a ton of companies out there that are starting to make accessories for Astera lights. Check out Honey Crates or DOP Choice. Those are just a couple examples. I'm Zach. And I'm Kevin. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And like. And ring that notification bell. Bye now. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. You guys are the reason that I get to continue making videos, so I'm gonna shout you out. Tony Stanton, Kyle Schaefer, Hannah Markley, Jason Hackworth, Andrew, Michael Mayfield, Kevin Johnson, Devin Nicole, Brandon Anderson, Christian Reddle, Noah Watson, Elisha Ruman, Thought Ray, Brandon Steger, and Michael Weeble. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate you. I got a Sony A6400 review coming soon if you're into camera stuff. Be on the lookout, bye.